In this session, we're going to look at version control of test cases with Quality Center. At a basic level, version control means tracking which changes have been made to a test case, who made them and when. Furthermore, version control can mean tracking which version of a test case was run against which release of a product and within which cycle. And this is where version control starts to get complicated. So within Quality Center, we have three different areas of version control. We have basic change tracking, we have baselining, and we have versioning. So firstly, the basic change tracking within Quality Center, which is known as audit logs. Under the test plan area, we can see a history tab for each individual test case. And this contains an audit log of all changes made to the test case. Who made the change? what the change was and when the change was made. Notice that this only applies to certain fields within the test case though. Tracking changes to other fields means customizing Quality Center and marking the fields as history tracked. And this can be done from the tools customize area within Quality Center. So under project entities, if we look under tests, and then look at either the system fields or the custom fields, you'll see that there's a checkbox that we can tick to make sure that that history is tracked within the audit log. The limitation with this approach is that it's difficult to work out which version of a test case was executed within the test lab. Quality Center takes a snapshot of the latest version of the test case when you execute it, but there's no indication of which version was used for the run. This limitation though can be overcome with the Quality Center baselines and versioning features which we'll look at next. So let's take a look then at baselines. Within Quality Center under the management area and the library section you can use a library to take a snapshot at a point in time of current versions of a contents for that library. So you define a library, for example here the Mercury Tours application library. Within that library you then link it to other artifacts within the application tests, requirements, etc. So we have a Mercury's Tours application here and we have a library called release 10.5 cycle 1 and a library cycle 2, cycle 3. So the content of the library is defined at the top level under the content tab and this is essentially the links to the artifacts you're going to contain within the library so we have a number of requirements that are contained within this require within this library and we could link it to other artifacts like resources, components and even tests. From here then, at a particular point in time, we'll baseline that library and in doing so identify the versions of the library contents at the point where we take the baseline. So in this example, we took a baseline called release 10.5 cycle 1. It was taken or created on the 2nd of June and that then contains all of the instances of the artifacts defined under the content area at that particular point in time. Now where this comes into play is when we view the records that are contained within the baselines library. So if we take flight reservations book flight folder that was linked as an artifact within the library and look at the individual test cases within that folder, you'll see under the history tab that we have a tab called baselines. Now each time we took a baseline under the library section, this record was tagged at that point in time. So the tag of release 10.5 cycle 1 that was taken on the 2nd of June identifies this particular version or instance in time of the test case. We can view that instance 
of the test case with the view button and we can compare different instances of the test case from different baselines using the compare button. And from here we can see each baseline, the fields and the fields from the two different baselines and the changes. Also under the test lab area we can pin a test set to a baseline and when we do this the test set will only contain test cases which are included in the particular baseline. So future changes to those test cases will not now be contained within that test set. That test set is effectively pinned to the baseline of artifacts that were defined within the library at the point at which we took the baseline. In addition and finally when we look at test results we can see which baselines the test cases were executed from. So in this particular example this test case was executed from baseline 10.5 cycle 2. And the contents of this test case will be from the snapshot at which this baseline was taken, 10.5 cycle 2. So this concept of baselining enables us to take a, a snapshot of a set of artifacts, test cases, requirements at a certain point of time and use those within a test set and then within a test run ensuring that we always have the contents at the point at which the baseline or snapshot was taken. So finally then we want to take a look at the concept of versioning. Now versioning within Quality Center is set up under the site administration area for specific projects. And when you select a project you can tell from here whether versioning is enabled or not. This project does not have it enabled and I can click on the enable versioning to enable it for the project. Notice that I have to deactivate the project first though. This sample project however has versioning enabled so we can utilize the versioning feature within the sample project when we modify, add, update artifacts within the project. With this enabled every time you make changes to a test case or a defect or a requirement you'll need to add a change comment and check in or check out the artifact that you're modifying. And we can see this as an example when we look at this particular test case. under the test plan. If we modify and update this test case the first thing Quality Center prompts me for is a change comment. At this point in time Quality Center is checking out this test case for me to exclusively make changes before I check it back in so that other people can make changes. And once this is checked out and I've made my changes, we'll notice that we have a check in button at the top so we can check it back in and a little padlock which tells me that this is checked out currently to me. So if I check in, click on the check in button for that particular test case, maybe modify the comment close the window, this test case is now checked back in with that new update. After making or any modifications to a, a record and after checking it back in, Quality Center will track the version of that 
change. So this version number has now been rolled from three to four because of the change I've just checked in. And this version number is then linked to the comments that we added when we checked the changes in. So if I view version four, we can see the latest version of that test case. And in the box down here, we can see the comments that were added as part of that check-in. We can also compare the changes that were made between the two versions. So we can see the version three version of the test case and the version four. And you can see that we made the updates or the changes to the description as part of that update. That version number is also used in the test lab area for the test sets and test runs. So for a particular test set, when we look at the execution grid, which shows us the test cases contained within the set, we can now see the version numbers of the test cases within the test set. The same is true under the test runs area where we can see the exact version of the test case that was run as part of the test set. So with this versioning feature we now have the capability to track which version of a test is run against which version or release of a project. There is an overhead with the check-in check-out workflow that this imposes on us but it does give us that traceability beyond that of most other test management tools. So in conclusion then, we have three ways to manage versions within Quality Center. We have the concept of the audit log, where we just track changes that are made to a record. We have the concept of baselining, where we define a library and then link that library to the versions of the artifacts at a particular point in time. And we have the ability to version control records where we have a check-in, check-out process that allows us to manage changes and record all changes to a test case.